Professor, thank you. We, we've reached Earth Overshoot Day, and it's just July. Meanwhile, we're seeing these effects of climate change constantly now with the big storms and the raging fires. Are, are we prepared for the problems that humans are causing with climate change? Yeah, thanks, Shep. It's good to be with you. And uh, I'll tell you, we really are seeing the profound impacts um, of uh, human-caused climate change playing out now in real time in the form of these extreme weather events that you're talking about. And it is interesting that we're watching that uh, play out, we're watching that happen as we discuss this overshoot day, um, this day that marks sort of when we've run out of our budget. It's like you have a, a budget for the entire year to cover all of your food and your rent or your mortgage, all your living expenses, and it's got to last you all the way through December 31st, and you run out in July. Well, that's what's happening to us when it comes to the resources that the planet can naturally provide us and the rate at which we are using those resources. We weren't using so much during the early parts of the pandemic. You know, that was what the statistics showed. Overshoot day now, uh, and our consumption is on the way up. Last year, it happened in August. Today, it's in July. It's not going as well as we had hoped. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, a year ago, they sort of pushed it all the way back to uh, late August um, because we weren't using as much. We weren't uh, burning through the same uh, amount of resources during the lockdown, during the social distancing of uh, COVID-19. Um, but it turns out that's where we were maybe 10 years ago. So what felt like a dramatic change in our lifestyle and a great reduction in the amount of energy and resources we were using only sort of put us back where we were 10 years ago. And if you go back 20 years, that date wasn't August, it was October. And so we're marching, marching uh, further towards January. And when we hit January, well, then we're really in trouble. Mm, I hear you. Serb, can't thank you enough, Professor. Have a good one. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.